Hello guys, I am back again with another video. I had no plans whatsoever of making this video today, but I was going to use something new that I've not used on my hair for treatment. And I thought I may as well do it with you and we review it together. My hair was washed about two hours ago, so it's drying up, but I do have my water bottle here to spray it anyway. So that's not a problem. Also, I must say, I'm impressed with my hairline, the way my hairline is looking like, because as you know, I have been trying the nice water challenge, I think about two months now, and my hairline is looking better. Um, so today, the purpose for today's video is we are going to be reviewing butternut squash hot oil treatment. So. I was reading about butternut squash the other day. Actually, I was just be reading about the benefits and some of the benefits are you could apply it to hair and it opens your hair follicles. It makes your hair soft and it helps with your hair growth. So I thought, why not try it on my own hair? Because I had a piece left in my fridge and I thought I do not want to waste it at least I know I can use it for something. So I'll be using that today. How did I make the butternut squash treatment? I peeled my butternut squash and then cut it into small pieces and boiled it until it was tender. I used very little water because you could steam it if you want to steam it, but I just used very little water and the water dried up at the same time as they were getting cooked. So I haven't wasted any ingredients in that way or any nutrients. So everything is in there. I blended it then with um, coconut oil, shea butter and olive oil so i've added all those oils together and i blended it together so normally i like to use my oils hot and uh, what i did was i took my shea butter coconut oil and uh, olive oil put them in a plastic container and then i took a pan with hot water and i just sat it in there on low heat and the oil just melted try not to put your hair oil in your oil in the microwave because the microwave can affect the quality of the oil so if you want to warm your oil put it in a plastic container or any container which can allow heat to go through then sit it in a pan with hot water and put your hob on low heat and let the water heat as well as it heats your oil and you will get your oil nice and hot my butternut squash was hot when i blended it and the oil so it's still nice and warm and i'll just go ahead and use that so i will show you what my butternut squash uh, treatment looks like and uh, you now know how i made it so i'll just show you what it looks so this is my butternut squash treatment it's a smoothie it's a nice paste it's nice and thick it's still warm because the oils were warm and the butternut squash had just been boiled and that's how you want it and we just go ahead and apply it to hair and see what it looks like or what it does to the hair later so i'll just go ahead now and partition my hair i'll do my hair in four sections because it's you work better with smaller sections so just gonna partition that into four sections i try to use my hands just to partition my hair because i have not detangled it yet and i don't want to cause friction or pulling it and break it so i just because with your hands you can feel the amount of strength you're using to partition your hair so it helps you not break your hair so i got my hair now in uh, those four sections 
and I'll just start from the back. I think I need a towel. So I'm gonna put a towel on because this is likely to be well, it's gonna be messy. Not just likely. I'm just gonna clip that there. And then I'll start working from the back and I'll just use my hands to apply this. gonna spray my hair that's just plain warm water play this is just warm water the reason it's important you use warm water on your hair when you're spraying is because it softens your hair and it does open your hair for the cause to enhance hair growth so just make sure I put this on each strand of my hair then I'll massage it and make sure I put it all the way up to the scalp and I'll massage it in just the normal way you apply your treatment I'm not going to detangle my hair just yet. I'll detangle it later with my nice detangling comb. Actually, it feels quite nice and smooth, you know. It does say it gives your hair a shine as well. Once you've used this and washed up, it keeps your hair shiny. So we shall see. But it doesn't. It does feel good already. It feels quite nice and smooth. It feels like it could detangle my hair, you know. But I won't do that just yet. I will do that after. Wow. Actually, it's not bad. That's the bad. for detangling my hair you know that's what it looks like so I'll go ahead and do all the sections and I will show you at the end what it looks like and then I will put it under a um, hot cup for 10 minutes and then I'll leave it for another 20 minutes and wash it off so stick with me and just see what this gives us today. Thank you. everything is in there then I'll put a shower cap on top and I will show you what happens next so I put a cling film on I put a shower cap and this is my dryer bonnet which just gets attached the dryer gets attached to the end like that I'll blow hot hair medium really for about 10 minutes and then I will leave it um, with everything on covered with a towel for 20 minutes that makes it 
half an hour treatment then we'll wash it off and see what it looks like and uh, your guess is as good as, as mine i have not tried this before so i don't know what it's gonna look like but saying that when i applied it on my hair my hair felt quite sleek and smooth and my curls were popping back so i'm excited to see what happens so Stay with me and see what happens. 10 minutes. So half an hour later, I'm back. And I'll just take this uh, off. It makes a mess. I must. My shower cap is a different color now. You can't even see it. What it looks like. Ooh, it looks really nice. It feels warm. It feels quite nice and smooth. I might just try to comb through it like that and it just comes through with no difficulty so it's a good you could use this to detangle your hair you know and I think it does make your curls pop back can you see that's my detangling brush If you're detangling your hair, as I said before, detangle from the ends and then you go towards the roots. And just do small bits by small bits. God, it's just, I think I put too much of this as well. But because I had already made it, I just wanted to finish it. So that's what it looks like. And it's really nice and... I can just come through my hair like that and I still have my curls there as you can see wow so my brush just goes through like that no assistance this is my <laughs> this is my detangling brush it's quite flexible bendy brush so I'm just going to detangle all my hair now and I'll just go and wash it off and I am not having any breakage because well very minimal breakage because my hair is already soft so I'll detangle all of it wash it and then show you what it looks like after washing this off I am not going to wash my hair with um, soap or shampoo because I've already washed it earlier on with shampoo. So I'm just going to rinse it off. And then I'll detangle it, rinse it off. But it's a good detangler as well, actually. And my curls look more defined even when I, even when I've put nothing to curl the hair and um, obviously after all this I will put my curling uh, cream and all that but I have put nothing apart from just what you've seen me put on my hair and that's what it looks like so um, I'll go I'll comb it through rinse it up and then I'll show you to show you what the back looks like before I comb it uh, it feels so soft so wow that's the word I can use. So that's the back looking like that. And this is the one I've just combed and twisted it. I'll do all that to all of it. I'm in mess here. But it's done something. So we'll see. We'll see the final result. This is what it looks like now after combing it all through. I wasn't going to show you this, but I thought it looks so nice. It feels so silky. I've combed it all through. I didn't want you to miss this and I'm just going to wash this off so I have used my that brush it's quite bendy very flexible brush I'm gonna clean it it's in such a mess yeah and I've combed through with my afro comb which is also in the right mess so I'm just going in there and getting all this sorted and then I'll wash my hair and I will show you but I've managed to comb through there with my afro comb with that brush just so easily like that remember this is natural hair and I've not added anything 
to it apart from just the butternut squash treatment with the oat oil together and that's how it's that's how it's coming through this is the first time i've been able to cook my hair like that with no trouble so let's wash it off i had to take my top off it was in such such a mess god this thing makes a mess so when you're going to do it just remember it does make a lot of mess so if you can bear with that then you're good to go so i've washed that off my hair feels really soft very very soft and uh, moisturized as well because remember we've done oil treatment as well together with the butternut squash so this is what it looks like god it feels just so nice and soft I know the shrinkage is real the shrinkage is just real there's nothing I can do about that so I'm not gonna cry over that um, what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to go ahead and uh, follow up with my Welsh day routine so I'm gonna use my products to moisturize my hair oil my scalp do a twist and um, achieve Obviously, the trees will come out after a few days so that I can achieve some cows. So I'm just going to go ahead and do my wash day routine and uh, also define my cows. Because my cows, as you can see, they disappear just like that and they are not defined. Hopefully, once I've followed with everything else, I'm going to see that shine I'm looking for because my hair now, all the oils have been stripped off and it's just water, as you can see so um what am i going to do i'm going to put products i'm going to twist it leave the twist on for a few days and then i'll twist out if you want to know how i define my cows go to my youtube videos there's a video there's actually two videos about how i do my twists and how i twist twist in twist out to achieve my cows also please subscribe to my youtube channel click on the like button if you like it and uh, click on the notification bell so you will be notified anytime i upload a video and thank you for watching thanks for your time stay tuned please guys stay tuned and stay safe wherever you are so i'm done with this video and i will see you on the next one and um, also can i ask you to comment down below what do you think about this butternut squash treatment i've never used it before but my hair was so easy to detangle honestly i had very very minimal breakage and while i was detangling my hair i've never had a comb go through just so nicely on my natural hair with no trouble you've seen me doing that and um, it's just good it's working it's just trying everything that works for your hair and i know all hairs are different but i have 4c hair which can be very very brittle which breaks and it's not easy to detangle neither is it easy for me to come through it but i've been able to do that quite easily after using this butternut squash so give us reviews on the comment box and let's see what you think about it thank you very much take care